The CAC Youth Chess Festival is on at the Cascadia Hotel in St. Anne's from Monday and ends on August 26th. On Sunday, which is the day before the event starts, there will be a technical meeting related to the festival. TNT Chess Association President Sonja Johnson is pleased that this country is hosting such a prestigious tournament. As president of the Trinidad and Tobago Chess Association, I couldn't be happier. I'm a happy camper. Um, we had some metrics actually set for this tournament because we are high achievers. Um, the last time we hosted this event, um, there were 180 players in 14 countries. This year, we're actually going to boast 15 countries and over 200 on paper. It's about 220, but I think it might. You may have a little attrition, but we're going to be over 200. So, of course, I'm thrilled. Johnson says nations such as St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Lucia and Haiti are sending a contingent to the CAC Youth Chess Festival for the first time. And then there are the traditional teams that are taking part as follows. So we're looking at Honduras, Guatemala, Panama, there's a player from Costa Rica. So that's in terms of um, Central America. And then you have the Caribbean, of course, the ever president, ever strong Cuba, which is the highest rated um, country in the Caribbean as it relates um, to chess. And we actually have some um, the Jamaica, um, Barbados, Guyana, Suriname. The top names from TNT are Zara Lafleur, Amir Mahadev, Joshua Medina, and Aradna Ramnarain Singh, to name a few. Even though Johnson is aware that the TNT players have done their homework, she knows the competition out there is quite stiff. I really believe we will. Um, it's going to be a hard event. I mean, you have just as many foreigners as you do, <laughs> as you do locals. So, of course, um, anything can happen. But I do know that uh, many of the players are working. Um, we actually have an under-16 team in the World Youth Olympiad now in the Netherlands, and part of that is preparation um, for this event. Um, so they are there putting their best foot forward. Um, so all we could do is let's just um, do our best. Is all I am going to ask of the team, and we have the right spirit. Regarding the logistics, Johnson says things are being put in place for the teams regarding accommodation, meals, transport, etc., so that their stay can be a pleasant one. Vinod Nawani, Export.